Unit 58, Likes and Dislikes. Speaking and listening. Introduction. Well, your father has a good sense of humor. I think he'll like it. Yes, I think so too. It's a little too cynical for me. Really? Yes. Listen to this, for example. Peace. A period of cheating between two periods of fighting. A period of cheating between two periods of fighting. Yes. Hmm. And this. Year. A period of 365 disappointments. Hmm. I don't think a year is a period of 365 disappointments. No? No. 363, maybe. Oh. But there are always one or two good days. I'm an optimist. <sighs> Optimism. The belief that everything is beautiful, including what is ugly. You see, very cynical. Yes, but quite amusing. Have you got a pen? Yes, here you are. Thanks. I want to write something in the front of the book, something funny. Um, any ideas? Well, you could write, people who like this sort of thing will find this the sort of thing they like. Oh, yes, that's good. Who said it? Abraham Lincoln. He was talking about a book. Yes, I like it. It'll amuse my father. What was it? People who... People who like this sort of thing. People who like this sort of thing we'll find this we'll find this the sort of thing they like the sort of thing they like <clears throat> Abraham Lincoln hope you like it Elizabeth <laughs> very good I really like it. Listen and repeat. He's one of my favorite composers. I love his music. I think his music is wonderful. I really like it. Listen. Do you like zucchini? Yes, he's one of my favorite composers. I love his music. What? I think his music is wonderful. I really like it. I'm a real Puccini fan. Just a minute. I didn't say Puccini. I said zucchini. Zucchini? Yes. Do you like zucchini? I've never heard his music. <laughs> zucchini isn't a composer. Zucchini are vegetables. In Britain, you call them courgettes. Oh, zucchini. Yes, I quite like zucchini. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Any vegetables, sir? Yes, I'll have the puccini. Uh, I mean the zucchini. Thank you, sir. So, are you enjoying this visit to London? Yes, I've always enjoyed working in London. I'm only here for two weeks this time. What have you been doing recently? Um, well, you remember I've always been interested in Aikido. Aikido, yes. A very interesting Japanese composer. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. A very tasty Japanese vegetable. Oh, ha, ha. You know that Aikido isn't a Japanese composer or a vegetable. <laughs> yes, I know. It's like judo, isn't it? Yes. Well... I've always been keen on it, and I've been taking some more classes recently. I'm getting quite good at it. Great. If we find ourselves in a dangerous situation, you can protect me. <laughs> OK. <laughs> My pleasure. I can't stand it. Listen and repeat. I don't like modern jazz very much. I don't really like modern jazz. I don't like modern jazz at all. I really don't like modern jazz. In fact, 
I can't stand it. Listen. Listen to this. Real friends like and dislike the same things. Who said that? A Roman writer called Sallust. Well, I don't agree with him. No? No. Vanessa's my oldest friend, and we don't like and dislike the same things. For example, she likes modern jazz, and I can't stand it. She likes traditional English food, and I hate it. She's a great fan of Woody Allen's films, and I don't like them at all. But we've been friends for years. Yes. I think. Listen. So, are you working in London for two weeks this time? That's right. Are you still travelling a lot? Yeah. It's strange. Some people love travelling and some people hate it. I've never been keen on it myself. No? No, I've never enjoyed travelling. You've never been interested in other countries? Oh, I love visiting other countries. <laughs> I don't quite understand. Well, I love being in other countries, but I don't enjoy travelling. Oh, I see. Oh, it's often boring. It's usually uncomfortable and it's always tiring. I can't stand it. Tiring? I don't find it tiring. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Listen and say, I agree or I disagree. Travelling is often boring. Travelling is usually uncomfortable. Travelling is always tiring. It's OK. Listen and repeat the answers. What do you think of English food? It's great. It's terrible. It's OK. Do you like travelling? I love it. I hate it. I don't mind it. Listen. Well, what did you think of the food? Mm, it wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. It was okay. The zucchini were good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh, so you really don't think that travelling is tiring? No, not at all. <laughs> In fact, you love travelling. Well, I don't mind travelling. I don't love it, and I don't hate it. Shall we have some coffee? Mm? <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> coffee, yes, that might be a good idea. <laughs> Song. Saturday night. I can't stand Mondays. I don't like Tuesdays. Wednesdays, they're all right. I quite like Thursdays. I really like Fridays. But most of all, I like Saturday, Saturday. I always look forward to Saturday, it's the best day of the week. Mondays to Fridays are all the same, but every Saturday is unique. I don't enjoy Mondays to Fridays, although I've tried and tried. And 52 Saturdays in the year aren't enough to keep me satisfied. Mondays are miserable, Tuesdays are terrible, Wednesdays they're not too horrific. Thursdays are okay and Fridays are good days, but Saturday nights are really terrific, really terrific. Oh, yes. I can't stand Mondays, I don't like Tuesdays, Wednesdays they're all. I quite like oh, Thursdays, I really like Fridays, but most of all I like Saturday, my favorite day, Saturday night. Style. 
Listen to these examples of block language. A telegram. Arriving London Gatwick Flight BA763 Thursday 16.30 Staying at Park Hotel Anne a postcard. Having a wonderful time. Weather marvellous. Wish you were here. Hope you're not working too hard. Charles and Diana. Some instructions. Lift handset and listen for dial tone. The credit display will flash. Insert money until flashing stops. Value of money inserted appears on credit display. Synopsis. Dialogue. an answering machine. Oh, I hate these things. Um, <clears throat> it's 4.30 on Wednesday the, um, oh, what's the date? Um, oh, I really hate these machines. I'll call back. Anna, hi, it's Angela. Welcome back. Just a quick message. Having a meal with some friends, Sunday evening, my place. Hope you can come, about eight. See you then. Anna, this is Elizabeth. I hope you enjoyed your trip to Sweden. I wanted to ask a favour. I'm going to visit my parents this weekend, and I've got a problem with my car. Jeff's working, and he needs his car. So could I borrow yours? I'll call back later, anyway. Um, <coughs> it's 4.45 on Wednesday the 14th. Important message. This is Mr. Jones speaking. J-O-N-E-S. Jones. Message for Anna Walker. W-A-L-K-E-R. Well... You know the message is for you, because this is your answering machine. <laughs> anyway, um, I never like leaving messages on answering machines. You never know how much time you have. Um... Anna, hi. Martha Colby. Edgar and I enjoyed talking to you in Stockholm. Remember what we said. If you're interested in working in the States, let us know. You have our number and our address. Bye now. <coughs> Five o'clock, Wednesday. This is Mr. Jones. Message. One, meeting, my office, Friday, ten o'clock. Two, I don't like answering machines. Three, in fact... I can't stand answering machines. Four? Well, there isn't a number four. <clears throat> End of message. <laughs>